Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and let's just get this out of the way right away. Yes, I do know I need a haircut, and let's get this out of the way too. Last video, you guys were just saying, why didn't you shoot Randy? Yeah, so it didn't quite stick into him, but it did leave a nice little dent. And uh, anyway, number three is I have a bunch of other fun things to do with the table saw cannon. Let's get started. The first thing I want to try is seeing if the lengths of the dowels have anything to do with how fast that they come out of the table saw. The first time I did this, when I put it through, about half of it was just cut, and it took about, you know, two feet for the saw blade to catch and to really shoot it out. So what I've done is I've dulled the saw blade so it should catch instantly. So now we'll be able to tell which length is the fastest using the chronograph over there, which will measure how fast they come out of the table saw. Let's try it out. That one was pathetic. Gotta raise the saw blade. That only did a tiny little line through it. <laughs> Well, to me, it looked like the uh, the longest ones were obviously the fastest, and that's good because they also weigh the most, so they have the most energy, and they should do the most damage. So let's stick with those. After Christmas, we had some extra ornaments that wouldn't fit in the box, so we filled them up with oobluck and lined them up here, and what we're going to try to do is shoot a dowel through all of them and see if we can break every ornament. It's going to be pretty tough. Here we go. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised the other ones didn't break just by knocking into each other. Right? I feel like I break these when I touch them or look at them too long. Well, I tried it again, but I still never got it perfectly aligned. Either way, I'm excited to move on because I really want to do the next experiment. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the dowel to go through all of the Christmas ornaments, but that's okay because I'm way more excited about our next idea. I'm going to take this dowel and fill it with sodium metal, and then we're going to see if we can shoot it through a fish tank. So now we've got this dowel rod that's filled with sodium about two or three inches down into it with a nice big hollow point on top, and it's got some cuts in it so it should expand. And we're going to shoot it at this aquarium right now, and hopefully it'll go into there, expand, break apart, and then blow up on the inside of the aquarium. Let's try it. Did it, did it blow up? I saw some smoke. Yeah, it blew up, all right. The sodium wasn't as big of an explosion as I was hoping it to be, even though there is glass all over the place now. I think we can try to one-up it with a little bit of potassium. And I have had this stuff for a long time. I've had it since I did my exploding bullets video. I always heard that old sodium or old potassium can get like a flaky explosive crust on it that can spontaneously combust if you disturb it. So let's disturb it. I'm just seeing if it's true. Cody's lab did a good video on that and it is possible, but it's not really like as hazardous as the lab manual says it is. Sometimes it does spontaneously combust though just from the moisture in the air. Right. It's it, not a nuclear weapon. No, it, it, but it, it actually might catch on fire just a little bit, but you're right, it's not gonna like... Blow up. Set your yard on fire. Look at the aftermath. There's still some on the ground over here. See, it's purple, isn't that cool? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, it got me. No, oh, it's smoking. Oh, look, at it is a lot of smoke. Look over there. Oops. That's probably fine. Potassium smoke, don't breathe this. Wait, I did that reference last video. Let's see where it went, because I saw a smoke trail all the way over here. Here it is. There's still a little bit left in here, so we're just going to dispose of it in the pool. But this is my pool, not your mom's pool. Right, I should just throw it in here and it should probably explode. Let's try it. 
Oh, that was pretty loud. That was pretty instant. I don't think we're paying our pool guy enough. Now it's time for the final experiment, and I had to figure out a way to make the table saw launcher even more dangerous than it already was. So we're gonna be shooting these cans right here. We've got 12 cans, and it's a shape of an arrow, an upvote, and that's what you should do for this video. Upvote, or thumbs up, whatever. Wrong place. Anyway. Wrong <laughs> This is what I made for the table saw cannon. It is a gravity fed full auto table saw dowel launching cannon. So basically these fall down and I use a fire extinguisher to propel them into the saw blade and that shoots them into the cans. Look at that. So I pretty much only have one chance to do this because I feel like the more I shoot them through, they're gonna get all torn up and they won't feed as well anymore. And uh, I'm all out of dowels. So this is it, let's test it out. Here we go. Full auto table saw. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, there was a bunch of them. Whoa! Oh, it smells so good. Oh, please let there be some left. I went to the store and got two flavors of sparkling water. Lime, which is his favorite, and orange, which is my favorite. Which one are we shooting? Awesome. Dude, they come out of there so bad. They come out of there so fast. Okay, I think that's the perfect place to end it for this video because two reasons. Number one, there's no way we can top that. And number two, it's getting dark out and there's no more light left to film. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.